impossible. Uh huh. Oh, it, uh, it seems you might be right. Right. Okay then. Yeah. Now get up. It, uh, it seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my god. Not for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world, Aaron is at your service. Cool. Now, wait, hold on. Jethal needs to GTFO. And then you can heal everybody. State your desire. I always have a second plan. There we go. Uh, where, pray tell, does one go? Ah, yes, right, over there. So I'm gonna go over here then. Oh! Yes, the hidden room. And then a grating that I can't open. Follow me. No stopping now. There are the gods. You run and get an axe. You bring more water. You stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. The stout man's unshaven face is covered with scars. There's blood on his armor, but he doesn't even seem to notice his wounds as he confidently gives orders to the gods. Aha! Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. Keston, House Gares, a fighter in the service of Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori. Right now, I'm in charge of the Mansion Guards. As you can see, there's a lot to do. Is is it just me, or did the the, the voice actor completely change there? If I were a rich and influential lady like Jamandi, I'd also bid myself a manly captain of the guard, or two. Someone opened the gate. Let in a group of assassins in the middle of the night. Now they've set the mansion on fire to cut off access to the hall. Uh -huh. We don't want Lady Jamande to get reinforcements. We cleared the passage so you can get through. Just try to avoid inhaling the smoke. We'll be right behind you. We just need to put out the fire first to save the mansion. Perfect. Considering Lady Jamande's faith, I'm not surprised that a whole pack of assassins were unleashed on her, including a giant. But what's at stake? What could anyone hope to gain? The tiefling squints, obviously curious and thinking quickly. No, we'll manage. I've got my best people here, those who still live. Your place is by Lady Algori's side. It doesn't seem right. What if some of the guards are wounded? We need to help them. You'll have to run through the fire. Uh-huh. Put it out at fire doesn't the abbot. Cheater. Uh, the fire, huh? It was a good thing we hadn't wasted any time. After entering the building and taking just a few steps forward, the wall behind us slanted and crashed down with a terrible crackling sound, blocking the way back. While we may not have planned on going back if we'd come in a little later, the flaming logs and red-hot bricks would have fallen right on our heads. Regardless, we were left with only one way to go. The hot air burned our lungs and our eyes watered from the smoke, but Thorkin Ironbrew led us stubbornly through the flames, while Tartuccio did nothing useful at all. We'd made it to the hallway leading to the banquet hall when we heard someone calling for us. It was Valerie, one of the guards I'd chatted with a bit in the banquet hall. Even then, in that calm setting, I'd been stunned by her beauty. But now, amid the smoke and flame, she looked like a celestial avenger, an armored deity. Menacing but beautiful, merciful, 
menacing but beautiful and merciful. Descending from the higher spheres to help us poor mortals. She held a burned, barely alive, living, or barely living guard in her arms. There are two more, she shouted as she passed by us. They are wounded. Help me pull them out. Tartuccio grumbled something about how Jamandi was waiting for us. Meanwhile, Thork and Iron Brew. Saving the poor fellows didn't take long. Together, we lifted them up and carried them away from the fire. Only then did Valerie pause to catch her breath and wipe the sweat from her face. Thank you. That was truly noble of you, she said. And now, let us rush to Lady Aldori's aid. Ensuring the guards we'd rescued were relatively safe, we made our way to the hall, where the battle was already in full swing. March on. Let's fucking go. What the hell? Treasure? Oh. Hi, three. It is done. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder. I hope that having heavy encumbrance doesn't make me unable to fight properly. How do I heal you? I really hope this won't kill you. Yep, it did kill you. Z, what are you doing? Oh. Thorkin, where the fuck are you going? Oh! There's a Miri! I was wondering. Can you... Can you guys do things, please? Where the f... What the hell are you doing, Thorkin? What are you... What is wrong with you, you worthless piece of shit? Jesus, Amiri is the only useful person in this party. To be fair, Jathal died because I'm retarded, but... Okay, then. Alrighty. 
Uh, Jamandi took on that frost giant alone. That's pretty fucking badass. Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought, there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You'll begin your expedition immediately. Eh, uh -huh. all right. Lady Adori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey! Probably, yes. But this evidence is circumstantial at best. There's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. They both came to your aid, Lady Tartuccio, you, you worthless piece of and shit. Tyrus Cunning knows no bounds. I've never met these two or their companion. For all I know, they're all conspiring spies. How could you say that? We fought together. We literally went through fire. Indeed. Together. And then you vanished into thin air. After you promised you'd wait. My words might be rash. I bet my life to spies anyone but this man. I saw how he dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior. I'd go with him through hell and high water. This purple crook, on the other hand. <laughs> He's got the eyes of a spy. And the mug of a spy! Lady Aldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed his true colors. He forced us to break into the armory and rob it. Considering the circumstances, that was more than reasonable. Glorious! Is it not insane to be faced with death and stop to question whether you may be breaking some law or rule? Our leader acted wisely. Aren't you lawful? I'm pretty sure you're lawful evil. Shouldn't you care about laws? There is a difference between initiative taken in battle and blatant arrogation. How can someone who disregards authorities be a leader himself? What about that trick he pulled right before we came in here? He knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help you, he dallied as long as he could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. He was obviously hoping mm. to show up too late and find you already dead. Really? Trying to save others is commendable, but Tartuccio's right. What? You were needed here more. Really? May Shellen spare me from ever having to make such a choice, but... He behaved decently as a true leader. Well, fucking whatever. A true leader is someone who has their priorities straight. Not someone who would put a valuable ally's life in danger for the sake of some servant. Enough squabbling. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the stolen lands. How how do you know, though? Whatever. Lady Aldori, most of those who are to set off for the stolen lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. Go. And may Abadar keep you. Which Abadar. of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? Ah. If Tartuccio allows, I would join his team. Forgive me, but I don't appreciate your willfulness. And I like our leader. What wisdom lies in minding orders, laws, and rules in the face of oblivion, knowing not whether you'll be alive tomorrow? I will go with his team. I'm still pretty sure you're lawful evil, so I don't understand your reasoning, but, you know. Our good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual agonizing. I prefer those who can act without wasting time helping every little pipsqueak. 
Those like Tatuchi. Uh, uh. going to take the credit for himself and be done with it. Shellen, spare me from such allies. I'm going with you. You're a hero worthy of my quill. As for me, I know neither of these two. At least, not well enough. And I have no wish to become an unwitting pawn to an unworthy leader. If Lady Jamandi allows, I'll remain in Restov and help mend the wounds this attack has inflicted. But who knows? The road may bring me to the Stolen Lands, but not yet. So she's going to be an optional party member that I can get later, I'm Do guessing. Do need to think? I'm coming with this man. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. I'll be sure to hang your rotten spy guts from the trees. I like you, Amiri. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Nevaktas Crossing. The garrison commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. All right. That'll be cool. I'd like to believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies can be. If you're truly innocent, I hope you can forgive me this precaution. Sure, whatever. If you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restov is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertoba may also interfere in our plans. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be points. Okay, and now, three months. Farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restall. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. I'll return with the Stag Lord's skull adorned on my head. I'm certain it would probably fit, maybe? Who knows? Surviving a terrible night, our small team set off to brave our fate. Beware, Stolen Lands. Heroes are on the way. Sure. Let's fucking go. Shrike River? Interesting. Oh no. Good God. Instantaneous explosion. That happened. Onwards. Exiting the global map is blocked. What the f oh. Right, I accidentally picked everything up after... After the thing. Wait. Okay.